chain locker bilge pumping arrangements. The picture here shows the chain locker arrangement along with its anchor and chain of a small craft. As you can see the anchor comes through the hose pipe and then around the windlass it enters the chain locker through the spurling pipe. The chain locker accommodates the complete length of the chain and the other end is hooked to the strongest point of a ship. On board ocean going vessels it is usually the collision bulkhead and in small river crafts like this it is attached to the stronger point as there might not be a collision bulkhead. Here is the picture of the exact arrangement of an ocean going vessel. Here is the anchor and through the hose pipe it comes to the windlass and then through the spurling pipe it enters the chain locker. And here you can see there is a bilge well and the water whatever comes from the chain can drain out through perforated plates to the bilge well. Now the question is how do we pump out this bilge water which is accumulated below the chain locker. So here is one arrangement which we had uh, in olden ships with the chain locker and the false floor that is the perforated plates upon which the chain rests and there is a drain hat or the bilge well. There is a mud box strainer over here and through that there is a line and then SR hand pump which is semi rotary hand pump and through screw down non written valve it's pumped overboard. It's a semi rotary hand pump which means it is manually operated. This system was there for the vessels of less than 100 meters in length. Next we will see what we have the ejector system for most of the ocean going vessels. We are going to see the typical bilge pumping arrangement of a chain locker for an ocean going vessel. Now let's assume this to be the forward portion of the ship and here you are going to have this bosun store where you will be having two bilge wells either side on port and starboard and let's assume you have a chain locker and chain locker bilge well here. This is just an assumption and a rough diagram. You are going to have an eductor which is connected to the general service pump from the engine room or emergency fire pump. The system can vary. So the driving water is going to be seawater through the ejector and it's going to go overboard somewhere on the forward. It's going to have some separate overboard arrangement with the valve or along with the anchor wash. It varies depending upon the ship type. Now the throat of this ejector is going to get connected with these bilge wells, port and starboard and also the bilge well for the chain locker. And each bilge well is going to have some valve so that it will be easy for isolation. On the top view we can see like this. Let's assume this to be this. And this is the port side and this is the starboard side bilge well of the bosun store. And here is the chain locker bilge well. So each of them are going to have the valve for isolation. and this is going to get connected to the throat of the ejector and the driving water is going to be seawater from the fire pump or emergency fire pump or the general service pump sometimes even the ballast pumps depending upon the ship design and then it's going to go overboard so that's how the chain locker bilge water or accumulated water is going to get pumped out